Hey, it's Michelle Yu and today's Athletic Appetites. I'm at Bobby V's and winners with the one and only Bobby V himself, who is an international food connoisseur. Right, Bobby? Well, I'm not so sure about that, Michelle, but I've been in the food business for 40 years and I've been eating it for 67, so I guess I qualify. All right, what's in the lineup? Well, we have a Kansas City 16-ounce strip. We have uh, tuna tartare. We have a creative little hot dog and a pretzel roll. We call it our Grand Slam. Well, I'm hungry and I'm ready, so let's go to the kitchen and get cooking. Let's make it happen. Okay, I'm in the kitchen now with our executive chef at Bobby Bees and Winners, Jordan Stein, and we're making one of the signature items, which is the tuna tartare, am I right? Yes, it is tuna tartare. Um, all the items are here, tuna, black sesame seeds, edamame, some house-made ponzu with uh, some gluten-free soy sauce. It is a great look. It, it makes um, your eyes want to eat it, and I think you do eat with your eyes. Be salute. I don't know, it's not bad. Mm. Now, when you first were approached to go to Japan to be a manager, what were yeah. your initial thoughts? There was a search all around the country for the first guy who was going to be the first non-Japanese to manage, and so it was an honor. I was flattered. What was one of the most difficult things about it? Obviously, the language. Can you say in Japanese that this tuna tartare is delicious? Hi, sorewa tuna to wasabi mo chip mo. That sounded romantic. Yeah, I was just saying that <laughs> everything together is really good. One of our signatures here is a 12-inch Hebrew National hot dog in a pretzel hot dog bun that's baked locally here right in Stanford. Shall we stuff this? Yeah. Yes. Oh, is this too much? No, no, no. Oh, it's a grand more slam. Than that, more than it's that. A grand yeah. slam. Here we go. Oh, so yeah. We got this whole nine It's a lot yards. of beans. Yeah, there's good beans, though. You know, you know what they chicken, say when you need a lot of beans? Beans, beans, because they're good for your heart. <laughs> Three different kinds of blended cheese that will melt up very nicely before we put our chopped onions on it. Go, Jordan. Go, Look Jordan. At that. Yeah. That. You like grilling, you know. I did a lot of grilling. Hey, you know, it's all about this. You know, <laughs> temperature goes like this your so softest part is your rear, and then you move to your hardest part of your hand, and that's your well done. You can actually understand what you're dealing with with temperature by, by oh, touch. Oh, I did not know oh, that. Oh, yeah, not bad on the potatoes, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and there goes the steak. I don't know if I'm sharing that steak with ah, you, Bobby. Ah, you ah. might have to get your own, it looks amazing. We have our hands full now, our stomachs are going to be full. Let's, Let's go. Do it, girl. Eat it, yeah. You got it. Okay, I'm gonna cut into the steak because it's yeah. looking at me, yeah. and I feel well, like. Yes, I will. I'm the guy. I'll okay, cut okay, into that yeah. It's, Please, it's that's a big piece. You. So let's just see if we got the medium rare. This is only on two touches. Oh, I think we dealt with medium rare. Oh, huh? very nice. Like Look that at okay that. You did a very, very nice edible. job. Thank you, girl. Not bad for me. Very nice job. This chili dog is also staring mm. at me, and I want to try some okay. of that. Mmm. Huh? Yeah. Has a kick to it. You know what this is? On. It's yeah. a grand slam. That's a grand slam. <laughs> and not a grand slam single, Robin. This is a grand slam. This yeah. is definitely a grand slam. Let's dig into this tuna tartare. What are your thoughts on Mickey Calloway? What I've heard is he's this wonderful guy. Everybody who knows him, and I've never met him, but says, hey, Mickey's a guy you can really like, guy you can really trust. What is the advice you would give a manager in New York? You have to take it one day at a time and not get distracted by the distractions. Whole bunch of distractions. The season goes by in a blur. Every day is important, and if you're thinking about yesterday or worrying about tomorrow, you're going to mess up today. So one of the funnier moments mm. in baseball, 1999, you, Toronto, oh. extra innings, and then you came back with a mustache. You thought that was funny. I got fined ten thousand dollars and suspended three games. What the heck's so funny about that? And we needed a little levity. Things weren't going that well prior to that. Mike got called for an innocuous catcher's balk. He didn't get thrown out of the game. I got thrown out of the game. The disguise really came from Robin and Oral, and I was the idiot to wear it out in the dugout. You seem to be still so very passionate <laughs> about the game of I baseball. I love the game of baseball. Do you miss <laughs> managing? Uh, yeah, sure. I, man I miss uh, kind of that camaraderie. But there's a lot of that garbage that I don't miss at all. Yeah. Manager in Japan, yeah. manager in the majors, yeah. restaurateur. Yeah. What stands out to you? I wish there was one thing. I'm still doing stuff that I, I enjoy immensely every day. Um, I, I think I'm just a lucky guy and I 
check, check off the box where it says, I was good at being lucky. Well, I'm a lucky gal because I get to dine with you at your fabulous restaurant. Thank you so much. Yeah, you got to come back. What do they say in Japanese when you Again. say cheers? Well, you say kanpai. Kanpai. Kanpai.